Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we will be doing the after the pen for actually two weeks. And this goes from... Wait, what does this go from? Oh yeah, I think it's this one, <laughs> the 28th, all the way through today, which is the 11th, because I actually don't think I've done this one. So if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, a bit of a brain fart there. I'm not sure what's going on with me today, but I did wanna do a few things before the after the pen. In fact, let me go ahead and insert footage of the meals for that time frame and then once i'm done i'll bring you guys back and we'll actually go over this together morning guys monday september 28th and breakfast is a tuna salad sandwich. hey guys lunch for today monday september 28th is some sausage craft and macaroni and cheese with some corn <laughs> that i made in my itaki shibuki pot all told it took about 10 12 minutes and it's really just to cook the noodles through if you're interested i will have a video of this up on my channel by the time this is posted and that's lunch for today monday september 28th hey guys breakfast for today tuesday september 29th is some yogurt actually it stopped by mcdonald's this morning and picked up a hash brown and a coffee but that's it and so this is what i'm rounding out my breakfast with and then I'll see you guys at lunch. Hey guys, it's lunch, uh, Tuesday, September 29th. And last night I was really tired, so I could muster up um, fixing a salad. I just put it all in baggies. I brought the, the dressing, we get that from Costco, and that's my favorite uh, Asian dressing. This is the leftovers from lunch yesterday, and then the peaches that were left over from yesterday as well, and that's gonna be lunch for today. I really wanted to make something out of my itaki, but it would, would have taken just too much effort last night to put all the things together to lug into work, so we've got this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, breakfast for today, Wednesday, September 30th. is just a real quick one. I've got a French vanilla yogurt from Yo Play. Not my favorite, but it's not bad. And then some crunchy Cheerios. I think it's like oat Cheerios Crunch or something like that. It's pretty good and definitely crunchy. I'll see you at lunch. lunch for today, Wednesday, September 30th, last day of September, is some butter bread. And then I made a, a soup. It's bean sprouts, tofu, and some egg that I drizzled in right at the last. It's spicy gochujang. So it's, it's kind of a sweet peppery taste. If you know gochujang, you know what I'm talking about. And that's gonna be lunch for today. Uh, because I don't know how to cook small, that might actually be lunch for tomorrow as well. <laughs> but I'll see you in the morning. Hi guys, happy October. It is October 1st, which is Thursday. Breakfast for today is some cranberry walnut bread from Costco and a harvest peach yogurt with some crunchy Cheerios uh, as the granola aspect and that's breakfast for today i'll see you guys at lunch lunch for today thursday october 1st is actually leftovers from yesterday so yesterday i had made the tofu egg bean sprout soup i drained out all of the soup part and just scrambled it with some extra eggs and some cornstarch i thought it would actually make it more like a pancake but it didn't and i think part of the problem was had I fried it, well, I sauteed the tofu bean sprouts to dry it out of the liquid that I didn't strain out. And had I just mixed all of the eggs and the tofu and just tried to strain that liquid out more so before, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know how yummy this is, but that's lunch for today. I've got rice and then I've also got ketchup and uh, sriracha uh, just to help with that and that's lunch there's actually a little bit left over it may not it may not be saved <laughs> i might just toss it you guys know how i feel about throwing away food but 
yeah, we'll, we'll see how this lunch goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For today, Friday, October 2nd, is a blueberry noosa um, yogurt. I've never tried it before, but it was in the refrigerator, so I thought I'd try it. I think uh, they got it from Costco, so there's other flavors to try. And then the cranberry walnut bread from Costco with a little bit of butter. And that's breakfast for today. Lunch for today, Friday, October 2nd, is actually one of my childhood favorites. So it is canned spaghetti. I think it's Campbell's brand. It's just spaghetti, nothing in it. And then we saute it with canned corned beef. And although I generally like my meals piping hot, this is the only one that I can think of that I enjoy eating cold. So this is actually leftovers from last night. And then I've got a peach uh, to round out my lunch for today. <laughs> so that's the end of it for me for this week. I'll see you guys next week, bright and early on Monday morning. Breakfast for Monday, October 5th is a strawberry and rhubarb noosa. These are actually really yummy. It's very creamy. Um almost like a pudding. <laughs> I really like them. I've tried this one and the blueberry one. There's also a lemon one. Uh, they picked it up from Costco and so yeah, uh, definitely a winner in my book. And then I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I also made some coffee at home and so I am set. I got about two hours of sleep last night so I'm actually feeling okay. It's probably not going to hit me until later. But, yeah, <laughs> Monday, am I right? <laughs> I'll see you guys at lunch. Lunch for today, Monday, October 5th, is Oyakodon, which is a chicken donburi that I made in my Itaki Shibuki. If you're interested in how I did that, uh, there will be a video uh, linked on my channel. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, October 6th. I was super tired last night and I just had no energy, so I just grabbed a donut and a yogurt. I've got some coffee and that's going to be breakfast for today. I'll see you at lunch. Lunch for today, Tuesday, October 6th, is Marie Callender's chicken pot pie and an apple. Like I mentioned at breakfast, I was really tired last night, so getting things together for my Itake Shibuki was just gonna not be a thing. I might have to look going forward at bringing things on Monday where I seem to have a little bit more energy to also carry into Tuesday when I don't seem to have any. <laughs> but that's lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, it is Wednesday, October 7th and breakfast for today, I mean it's almost 10 a.m., is just a really large Yeti. Well actually I think this is like I don't know 16 ounces yes yeah, so a large <laughs> yeti of coffee um, I'm not hungry so that well let me just film this because I'll probably film my lunch well no I will film what I'm having for lunch I just I don't know what that will be and like I said not hungry yet Usually you see me prop up my food on my laptop, which is probably not the best thing but I did get a new laptop stand where it, it it rests at an angle like that and I find it does work better so yeah that's that's breakfast for today pretty non breakfast oh and these stickers I got from my friend Andy were the one uh, she's the one I'm doing my buddy read with so I've got that one there and that one there <laughs> right, I'll see you guys at lunch hey guys lunch for today Wednesday October 7th it is some fried rice. I think fried rice is one of the best ways to use up some leftovers. So we had some leftovers from Monday night. I'm not sure when we had hot dogs. I think Sunday, <laughs> but we had a hot dog in the fridge. We had some leftover rice, so I just uh, put all that together with some green onions. Really simple. We had leftover Korean food. And so, yeah, that's what comprises the fried rice. And then with fried rice, I can do a sunny side or an over easy egg. But if you notice, there's no ketchup on the plate because I can't do a yolky egg with ketchup. 
it just grosses me out. I don't know why. <laughs> so I, I usually have to pick a lane and today I wanted a yolky egg and that's lunch for today. Good morning guys. Thursday, October 8th. Breakfast is coffee again and today I've got a strawberry yogurt. I'll see you guys at lunch. lunch for today. Thursday, August 8th is a ham and cheese sandwich with some iceberg lettuce. This is actually some spicy bread and butter pickles. My dad found it in the commissary. It's delightful. And some pea and corn salad leftovers we had from last night. And that's lunch for today. Hey guys, it is Friday, October 9th. Um, I didn't film breakfast because I didn't eat it. I just had one of these filming one-handed <laughs> cup of coffee. I did measure it because I actually did do the Keurig in, in a measuring cup and it holds two full cups of liquid, so 16 ounces. Lunch is a bunch of leftovers. I had cooked some potatoes O'Brien last night, just the kind that are frozen from Safeway. This is some leftover ham, uh, that's some leftover white sauce my mom had made a few nights ago, and then some crispy onions just for some different texture, and that's going to be lunch for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend or had a great weekend depending on when you see this and i'll see you guys next week okay so i did finish my buddy read with um my friend andy well i finished this week's assignment i still need to uh, put it in an email and send that to her but that'll be something i'll do either later today or first thing in the morning and that was actually purely audiobook and it was a lot of chapters. And generally what I like to do is I like to listen during the work day and then write notes as I think of things or things strike me. But it was, it was rather a busy week and the tasks that I had to do were very detail oriented where I couldn't just sort of half listen but also half do what I was working on and sometimes that's a thing sometimes I can actually focus on two different things and my my work process is not affected this week it would have been and so I listened at night as I was doing other things and so what I did was oh, that was weird I had some extra space that I didn't um write anything down in for this yet because I actually started listening uh, Sunday night to just to get a jump on things and uh, I wrote some notes there it wasn't enough I didn't really think I had enough space here um, or anything designated because I actually like the white space going on here so I just sort of tipped this extra piece in and this was something I was had used before and uh, this is all of the notes that I need to put in an email <laughs> to my friend Andy um, but I kind of like it that way so when I'm going into this new week, which I will do in a video immediately following this, um, I might actually designate some space for that because I listen generally at home and I can have this out, listen, be playing on my Animal Crossing or, you know, uh, going in a coloring book on my iPad or something and then write notes as they occur to me as I am listening. So this was the week of the 28th through the 4th. As you can see, there is lots of journaling. I do like the little gold dot bullets, and so I, I think I'm going to do that again. And again, this was just really to satisfy a need um, to have more writing space because it wasn't here. Although I suppose because I know I have extra pages back here, I could have done that, but I just honestly I wanted to keep them together. This week right here, you can see there is a lot less writing and I'm realizing that I write to the space that I have. So if I have tons of space, then I will write a ton. And if I only give myself a little bit of space, then I'll only write a little. <laughs> it is Sunday the 11th, so I will be doing some thoughts of my day today. And then this I think will just be an overall thoughts. And then, like I said, I will be setting up the week here uh, later on today, just so that I have this ready and wait for me and whether I or not I do my notes here or whether I do it in the back I will figure it out during that video
And actually, I think I'm leaning more towards doing it in the back. And this is just something I did one night, and I will do a video on how I did this, because I know it looks complicated. I think it looks a bit wonky, but um, I can show you how I did the process, and that'll probably be back here as well. So I might just designate some pages here for the Buddy Read notes, and at least that way it all stays contained in here. Because I do like the little tip in action, but as I was listening to the latter part of it, I did wonder if I'd have enough room <laughs> to write everything I was thinking. And I think I might need to put extra tape there. But yeah, that is the after the pen for this week. I just realized I didn't do my word for yesterday and I still need to do my word for today, but I will do that before the end of today. And I am loving, loving, loving how this is looking. Sometimes I just, I pick it up and I flip through it and like, oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> But yeah, that's today's video. Hope you guys are doing well. I'd love to know what you think of the progression so far and of the meals that I've shown you for breakfast or lunch. Were there any standouts for you? I'd love to know in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.